So about a year and a half ago, at least as far as I've been able to, to remember and piece together, maybe getting close to two years now, um, a friend of mine, a very close friend, got ordained in England. And because he was a good friend, I went over um, to be there for his uh, ordination to the diaconate. And they, there were a lot of other people being ordained, and, and they had somebody there doing the, the sermon for all these different people. And I can't say that I remember a lot, because I don't. Um, I can't say that it was a very good sermon, because it wasn't. But, um, but there was one thing that did pop out at me. Um, and I, I can't remember exactly if, if it could have been this passage he preached on or, or the similar one in Matthew. Uh, I, I think not, but, but maybe. Um, but basically what, what his message for these um, ordinands was, was to go out to to use everything at your disposal uh, to serve Jesus Christ, to, to use whatever tools you have at your disposal to do the work of God in the world. And I really took that message to heart, and I started thinking, okay, what are, what are better ways that, that I can um, spread the good news, the gospel in the world. What, what's, what are better ways that I can um, do that, that, that I can spread that word, that message to others? And I thought about it, and then I sort of grunted inside because I realized one of the things that was at my disposal that I wasn't really utilizing. And the little that I was us utilizing, I wasn't utilizing well, was social media. Right, because that's what we hear about all the time now, is how are you using that, how are you reaching people via the internet? And so that was kind of a wake-up call to me, is, okay, I have this resource. I know how to use it. Uh, so I really need to take that responsibility and do that. And so I did. I started linking these different social media things, services I was using together. Um, really trying to emphasize putting sermons, Christian formation sessions online. And I found out that it was helpful, people liked it, and, and sometimes more people were actually hearing what I had to say online than the people who were actually present at the time when I would deliver these sermons or these Christian formation sessions. That's really the message of tonight's gospel. How are we best utilizing our gifts? How are we, as Matthew would, would put it in, in his version of this parable, how are we best using our talents to serve God? How are we best utilizing all that we have to do the work of Christ Jesus in the world? That's the question that we're left to ask ourselves. Because we're not called to, as the song says, hide it under a bushel. No, we're called to make it shine, to let our light shine forth for others. We're not called to bury our talents in the ground. We're called to let them be out there to let them grow, to let them do more things. And yes, there, some, some of us are sometimes called to, as we see in the gospel, pick up the slack, pick up those extra things that need to be done when somebody else isn't utilizing their talents. We're called for another thing, too, the... This parable tells us as well that the gifts that God gives us, while we, we don't use them for any other purpose except to help God, to serve God, to do God's work in the world, we do get something back. And mainly what that is is a deeper
deeper relationship and bond with our Lord Jesus. And part of what that means is moving in more to that resurrected self that we, that we have, that we are remade in through Christ Jesus. By serving God, we become more of God's own. We live more into that resurrected self, that resurrected life. So our call, the message for us this evening, is to go out, think about what your talents are. Think about what your gifts, the abilities God has given you. And then figure out what are the best ways you can utilize those gifts, those abilities, those talents in the world in service to our Lord Jesus Christ.